Good morning, everybody. Good day, good afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, welcome back. Uh, this is Blackheart 6. Um, our next subject matter that we're going to cover uh, for these tutorials is going to be uh, getters and actions. So um, let's go to the wiki first. So um, you have, uh, remember that the goal of the framework, all right, is to provide scenario creators a simple way how to build scenarios using world editor without any scripting knowledge. Okay. And that's, that's the key thing here, right here without scripting knowledge. And so to make things interesting, um, and be to be able to really do that, you've got to have these getters and actions. Um, it, you know, if you don't have any actions, then you don't have any flexibility. You don't have any. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of there's limited things you can do. Then you know, uh, besides just having three tasks uh, every time you want to go do something. So uh, the goal is to always do this without scripting knowledge, which works for me because I don't have any scripting knowledge. Um, so. It, you know, the actions in the getters uh, help give you the flexibility to do those things. So uh, getters, getters allow you to retrieve usually entity, you know, sorry about the spelling there, that's not mine, or a number of something already existing in the scenario for the purposes of using it usually in some actions, okay? So getters are pretty much tied to actions, all right? And then actions, okay, actions allow you to perform runtime changes to many aspects of the game, to alter different states, adjust entities, and so much more. In many cases, there are things you'd be able to do in-game as a player or as game master very easily. Currently, not everything will be here. Things will be added, and they have. They've really expanded this thing out. So, um and you can add your own actions as well if you properly inherit from the base class. Now that's probably something that I will have to sit down and go over and figure out, okay, because this looks pretty, you know, you can add your own actions as well if you properly. So we have to sit down and, and look at that. Um, I think this is old. Uh, all actions have one shared attribute. That is the max number of activations. Um, that sounds like this was written early on. There's more, more than that now. Um, many actions are designed in a way that they have a single or empty getter, and the action will automatically be working with the spawned entity of the slot to which it is attached. So some of these you don't need getters, uh, depending on the situation. Um, normally what I find is... Um, if you attach the action to the slot AI, you don't need to put the getter there. So, for example, if you're doing actions on AI, uh, the getter, uh, you don't have to, and it's the action is on the slot AI, then you don't need to put a getter in there. You can leave it blank and it'll automatically pick up that slot. Now, if you're doing an action that involves the player, you have to put that player in there or, or um, a uh, group of players, uh, an array of players or something because it doesn't know, you know, because you're usually attaching this to a slot. Uh, the actions go on the slot and then it's got to know that you want it to go for the player to do, not AI. So you just got to, you know, work it out and I'll show you how to, you, I'll show you how you can do that. So that's, that's actions and getters. Um, now, there are a ton of these things, okay? So, obviously, I cannot go through every getter and every action. So, there's, there's 15, 16 getters. Um, and then there are, as you can see, 56 different actions. Um, and then, of course, under medical, you've got another 11 on that. Another seven there and three, so 10, 21 on top of that. So you're talking around 57, 
uh, around 57 actions. Um, obviously, I cannot make a video uh, on every one of these, so we're not going to even to attempt that. It is going to be uh, left up to you to figure out uh, how you want to use these things and where you use them, and I will just show you some basics about actions and getters and how to employ them. So, uh, let's start with what do I got down here? Okay, slot clear. I don't think I have really any AI. Uh, we'll, we'll, util, we'll utilize AI. Um, so, yeah, I don't, don't really have anything down. Destroy. Let's do a kill task. That, that'd be a good one. Um, and that will involve AI. So, Or we can just ooh, ooh, ooh. so area spawn point. So we have our kill task over here and we have our slot kill and of course it's going to be um, we want to kill something AI normally it's always the it's always the officer we we'll always try to kill the officer for some reason so there's our officer um, and then let's see here. I'm just trying to make some stuff up. So what you have is uh, activation actions. So if you go down through here, you can look at like area. Well, let's turn that one on. So if in your attributes, okay, you can go down through here and you can see that, okay, activation conditions activation actions trigger actions okay so on init activation actions um, and this applies whether you're using a slot or a layer um, this is always the same uh, you have your list of actions now obviously I can't apply an action AI to a area it doesn't make any sense okay so um, what you can do is, so if we go down to use our slot kill, all right, that is AI. So we go down and let's just do something stupid with them. Uh, let's put a medical, where's medical? Okay, so here's here's the medical actions. All right, number of activations. You can set that to one if you want. The getter class, here's the getter. All right, you click on that, and you have the list of getters. Okay, it's limited. You're not going to be able to add any more or anything less. Now, we shouldn't need a getter in this, but if we were to require a getter, I would pick, usually I use the get spawn entity and and then what I would do here is put slot kill one alright and the reason I use the spawn entity and then it says layer name but you put actually the the slot name of the entity you want it to apply to it works all the time it seems it's it's bulletproof um, so uh, I would do that and then for the medical action so what we can do is let's let's set the blood uh, let's set the blood rate okay 
So set the blood and set the blood value. You can see it goes from zero to 6,000, all right? And I know from experience that if I set it around 1,700, this guy will keel over and he'll be knocked out. So let's see what happens. Um uh, playing from position. Okay. See what happened to him. Check injury, so you know. Um and I don't think we have the task down. Uh, anyway, I didn't check because I didn't, I didn't complete the task. We just used that as an example. We haven't finished yet. So you can see what the, the action got applied to him. Um, so we don't even have to use a, a task. Uh, let's, let's get rid of that. Um, yes. And let's just throw a layer in there. We can use this way. We got more flexibility in what we're doing. Uh, we can put a slot AI. We can put a slot in here. So now we have a slot and a slot AI uh, to, to do different actions on. So um, once again, okay, so slot, let's, you got to have an object, obviously. So let's put um, 1025. Let's put a vehicle in here. We can do some actions on that. Um, and then uh, let's just put a U.S. US soldier in here. And where are they at? Over there. So there we go. We got a, we've got a piece of equipment, and we've got a uh, you know an AI action. Um, so let's let's you know look at some of these. So um, once again, on a knit, when it says actions, and you pull up this list, then you can apply those actions. Okay, this is how you get to that list. Now, what's great about this is, and this is uh, you know you know hint hint. Um, so let's go back to our medical. Okay, and expand this out. So if you just mouse hover over, it tells you um, a lot of information about this action. Okay, so how many times this action can be performed if this gets triggered? This is a standard uh, getter. All right, target entity for the uh, medical action. So, and then if you put down in here, spawned entity, layer name, okay, it doesn't say anything there. Medical actions, medical actions that will be executed on the, a lot of these mouse hovers tell you what you need for the action and what the action does, okay? Here it tells you where to go find the action, gives you the ID and the class, which is good. All right, and then character blood hit zone value zero to six thousand. Now, how did I know it was seventeen to get him to drop out? Um, what I did was for that is when you hit play. Okay. Go to Game Master, click on the entity, go to Properties, and it tells you right here, Character Blood. If you bring that down um, to 33%, okay, or less, he'll be he'll be knocked out, he'll be unconscious, right? So we know then that. So that was 33%. So
So to be exact, um, it's 1980 of, of the 6,000 because 6,000 is the full. So, you know, any, anywhere below that, he, sh he should drop out. Um, and to be safe, you can put it, put it there. So, and you can see he's, he's knocked out now. So, so you're like, well, he didn't, he didn't keel over. Well, did we sit, did we finish setting this up? Uh, get spawned entity. We have a spawned entity here now. So let's look at this. So according to their wiki, all right, it's attached to a slot AI. Um, I'm doing a medical action. Uh, the getter target any it doesn't say that you know uh, it I think you have to put the the getter in this case all right because it doesn't tell us that it's um, that you don't have to put it so I'm trying to find something here let me you know there's so many of these so kill all right, so here's a good example, kill entity. So it tells you in the description, entity to be killed, optional if the action is attached. Oh. Optional if the action is attached on a slot that spawns the target entity. It doesn't tell you that when you say up here on this getter. It just says target entity for medical action. So I think when you see these, when you do these mouse overs, um, this is the best way to uh, find out whether or not you need a medic, you know, whether or not you need to put the getter there to start with. Okay, so let's get rid of the kill. We don't have the getter. Um, let's test that. And I'm going to run a little over on this video because it, it's basically going to be just this video. Um, I'm not going to be able to go through all these, you know, getters and actions. Just, there's too many of them. So you can see that nothing happened there. This is the important stuff right here is that you understand the relationship between getters and, um, the action and whether or not you need it. So it didn't work with we didn't have a getter on there. We put a getter on there, and now he's out. Okay, so let's go to kill now. Um, let's get rid of the medical. And let's add the kill. And this is where search comes in really handy. Okay, so it's... It, you know, shouldn't need it. All right, let's see what happens. <laughs> so you saw the ragdoll, right? You can randomize the ragdoll effect on that. So, and there you go. So there's a good example of, you know, uh, an action not requiring a getter. Uh, so uh, I think that's, uh, we're, we're pushing up uh, against 20 minutes. Uh, I think I'm going to kill it here as far as the video goes. Uh, if you, you know, once again, use your imagination. Um, use that mouse hover because that mouse hover will tell you whether or not you need a getter and what what getter you need. Um, in, in some cases, it will tell you. Use the layer base class. If you're dealing with, I usually, 99% of the time, I just say spawned entity because that's what you're doing. You're spawning some kind of entity, whether it be a truck or an AI. Um, so just use that one. And if it works, it works. Um, sometimes you got to play around with them. They're not exact. So, uh, and figuring things out. Uh, but that's pretty much getters and actions. And wherever you see this list, uh, you can use it. Um, so uh, there's, you know, wherever it's at, you know, on activation, on activation conditions. So here's a different set of types of uh, 
activation, con these are conditions, these are not actions. So just make sure you understand the difference uh, and where you can use it at. So mostly used on slots. Um, that's, that's it for this one. I'm going to stick a fork in it and call it done. Thanks. Appreciate it.